All right, Una, so I see what you're talking about. So it was easier for me to record this instead of trying to type it out. So let's say that you want to do what you're talking about. Instead of completing it, you can come up here and you can hit pause or you can hit cancel. But what I've been doing is hitting pause and then hitting these little dots on the far left and then hitting home. And then this little thing comes up and it's like, yeah, do you want to cancel this or no, do you want to resume? So what I've been doing is canceling it and then switching to a new task. So then I can just go ahead and pause it, cancel, go to a new one, go from there. Now, if you did want to track your distractions, then that's when you would want to use the X. So go back in, hit X into your distractions. So that could be something like, oh, a phone call came in, you know, whatever. And then instead of waiting on the break, you can just hit the little dots, hit home, and then go to your new task. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and then I did find this little thing too. If you hit all these little squares, this thing comes up and you can track your distractions and you can, you know, see all this. Now, obviously I have not been using Pomelo and my Pomodoros today, but you can see just all kinds of other stuff in here as well. So, um, you know, you can check your settings and your sounds and shortcuts and you know, all kinds of other stuff. So, yeah. Um, so another thing, I have not used Butler, but hopefully this way gets you around having to worry about Butler automating stuff for you. Um, I know that Jessica Stansberry and a few other ladies inside the group use Butler a lot. So um, if you get hung up there, you can reach out to them. But hopefully this was helpful for you. And, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know. And it sounds like I need to add this video to my things to do. So, okay. Bye.